Never. I've never had a personal problem. Never had a personal problem. But to just know what this kind of cultish behavior consists of. Because it showed its true colors, finally. It was there, you've seen it. Attack against me, hijab, the rest of the people, everybody, you name it, everyone's finished. Like in their eyes, they're all misguided, except the safe sect. These are the only people going paradise. Let's watch the video for ourselves, please. And let's judge the next. But there's some videos of his. There's many mistakes uh, he made. May Allah forgive him. Okay, so he knows. Alhamdulillah. His brother had been advising. When I die, I wouldn't have mistakes. When you die, you wouldn't have mistakes. When Muhammad Hijab dies, he would have had mistakes. When Mufti Menk dies, he would have had mistakes. When Zaki Naik dies, he would have had mistakes. To clarify that, if it was something where you say, you know what, this person is calling to absolute misguidance in the context of, he was saying, worship graves. You should go and worship graves. You should commit innovation in the religion. You should go and do this. You should go and do that. You should go and this. You say, you know what? Understandable. Wait for the guy to rest. Maybe later. Yeah, understandable. Just imagine, you lived a life of sin, you made mistakes, but you were still a Muslim, you still believed in Allah and His Messenger, you've passed away, and you need help right now. As I speak, you have passed away, the angel of death has taken your soul, maybe you're in front of Allah. This is exactly what Brother Cadet, the rapper who's passed away, is going through right this second as we speak. He needs our help. Right this moment of time, we can do three things. Number one, make dua. Say, oh Allah, have mercy on him. He has friends that haven't benefited him in this life, neither in the hereafter. Let's not be among those friends. Let's be true friends, true brothers, true sisters. Who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? Listen very carefully. I'm going to rewind just a little bit. Listen carefully. It says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? When I die, I wouldn't have mistakes. When you die, you would have had mistakes. When Muhammad Hijab dies, he would have had mistakes. When Mufti Menk dies, he would have had mistakes. When Zaki Naik dies, he would have had mistakes. To clarify that, if it was something where you say, you know what, this person is calling to absolute misguidance in the context of, he was saying, worship graves. You should go and worship graves. You should commit innovation in the religion. You should go and do this. You should go and do that. You should go and this. You say, you know what? Understandable. Wait for the guy to rest. Maybe later. Yeah, understandable. His body was in the mortuary. Probably just turning cold gradually. Did they wait? No, 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 no. I had to wait till we rest, buried him, put him to rest, to then do this video. Someone contacted me. And I've blurred his face because I do not want to look at his face. Why? I'm, his voice, I would love to change as well, but just so you guys hear clearly, there's no distortion, inshallah, yeah? Who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? This is a believer. Man, this is a human being. This is a believer. And you couldn't hold your tongue to eat his flesh. Yeah, and a literal dead man's flesh you ate. Who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? At least leave him alone, please. I'm begging this Ramadan. Wallahi, I'm not gonna call you a name. I'm not gonna do that. Says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? What did the Prophet say? It's as if you're eating the dead flesh of your brother. You're alive and you're eating his flesh. You're alive, you're eating his flesh. The guy's dead, and the guy's literally dead. If somebody's talking ill of a dead man, may Allah have mercy on him, we are going to stand here and defend his honor. Who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? Well, I thank Allah that you guys are not our judges. You would have thrown all of us to the fire. Says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? I will not give you salam. Until you publicly apologize, I'm never going to give you salam. And I hope the Muslims never give you salam. Yeah? It's your right, but you wrong the right of another believer unnecessarily. You backbited him. You're backbiting him. You're slandering him. Says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? Toxic person you are. Toxic, I'm not going to call you no name. You're toxic. Says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? Shame on you. Till you do public repentance for biting your dead brother, eating his flesh, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. And anybody that talks to this man, anybody that has his videos, do not record me. Do not record any of the brothers. Do not record us. Go and record him. Says, who can benefit this brother who has had mistakes? The guy is dead. Gone. Leave him alone.
Some people they follow Taim, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah as if he's a Muslim and Rasmi, the Sunni Islam, which he's not. And he makes mistakes. When I die, I wouldn't have mistakes. When you die, you wouldn't have mistakes. When Muhammad Hijab dies, he would have had mistakes. When Mufti Menk dies, he would have mistakes. When Zakir Naik dies, he would have mistakes.